My name is Janneke. Uh, she uh, wrote uh, earlier in her life. And when we moved to the island of Texel, uh, we got the idea to go riding again. She got the idea to go riding again. And I said, well, that might be fun. So Second reason to buy a horse, because we could not live with how they made us treat the horses at the riding school. Yeah, that's right. Um, I had English style classes from when I was 8 to 18 years old. And I went to, to the island where we now live, Tessel. And this woman was telling, if the horse doesn't want to go to the left, you just put your weight in the left stirrup or you just pull at the left rein. And if he doesn't want to walk, you just hit him with the whip and, and stuff like that. And they also made me ride a horse who was really walking crooked, like that. There was a stallion mounting her whole day, and she was just in pain. And I didn't want to ride the horse, but I had to ride the horse. So, uh, well, we just didn't want to go there anymore. And there was a group of riders with horses galloping across the field, and I saw that, and I was in awe. Like, oh, wow! And not because of the riders, but because of the horses, of course. <laughs> And there were two Shetland ponies at that campsite and another girl invited me and my girlfriend then to come and ride those Shetland ponies. And that, that is my first, uh, my first uh, meeting with horses. And, but actually I did not want to mount. I, I, I clearly remember I was very reluctant to do so. But then, you know, they coach you, well, yeah, you should, the horse should be ridden, blah, blah, blah. And so that was my first ride, and that's how you are taught as a child, most of the times. You want to have to do anything with horses, you have to ride the horse. Well, I rode more than 150 different horses in that period, ponies and horses. And I was club champion dressage once, and I have loads of ribbons. Um, pretty much like any horse, normal horse, person you see up there, uh, riding and yeah, just doing whatever I wanted, no matter what the horses wanted. Yeah, no, not much competing, but I've done both dressage and show jumping and trail riding, just for fun. Um, I grew up with horses, we had a few horses at home always, and um, when I was 10 years old I got my first own pony. And yeah, well, I've ridden him in quite traditional way. And then when I was 15, I got my stallion, which I have still now. And with him, I think he has made me, well, he has led me through my whole life to, to this point. And um, I started him to ride when he was four years old. And I started um, in a very traditional way. So like, yeah, well, the English. A riding style like you see on on, um, on competition so, yeah I, I I got a feeling like yeah well I always have to put pressure on the horse um, but he's not doing it on free will and I thought yeah well maybe I can start and ride in bit less so but then I saw yeah well how much pressure and how much I need to do to get him do doing things so then I started to think and and from the beginning uh, it was uh, like professional riding and I was uh, competing in show jumping, dressage, uh, military and sometimes races and uh, it was uh, training every day, uh, the training were, uh, were long about hour or hour and a half and it was a uh, kind of routine during many years. So, uh, during, for example, three years, I had only one day off from the sport riding. And uh, that was kind of uh, experience which wasn't so happy experience or, uh, uh, how do I say, it wasn't fulfilling me. And uh, it was full of frustrations. Uh, it was not what I was seeking for in the beginning. And uh, after many years, uh, it was 
obvious that there is something missing in all that story. Because uh, every training I had with my horse and my trainer was uh, consisting of arguing, fighting with the horse, insulting me that I was stupid, not capable to do things. And uh, I don't know if it's some kind of system to become better, but it was really not uh, comfortable for me. And I think it was not comfortable for my horse too. I did show jumping and competed. I needed to force the horse all the time. And, and in some moment, I just realized that, that no horse wants, is happy to be ridden, is happy to, to compete, is happy to be trained. It's all the time on the force and it's, it's all the time pain. It's all built, built up based on pain, on horse pain. And I continue riding for some time with this realization for some few few years seeing this pain I still continued I just didn't know what to do I wanted to be with horses but I didn't know somehow I didn't know another way but then somehow it changed <laughs> My past was uh, pretty much ordinary. It is nothing special. I started to learn of the riding as I was a child. I was taken to a riding school and uh, I actually learned nothing about horses at first. It was only riding. It was later when I started to be interested in horses and especially uh, in finding out because it was just a feeling in me present pretty much right from the beginning that it is not right that that we are just riding them because they are they are more than that much more they are living creatures and i found wanted to find out what more there is and that's how i started in a different way uh, in my past also i had uh, I had the time with competitions, I, want, I wanted to learn dressage, uh, show jumping, I used to compete in orienteering riding. My past with the horses was pretty much the same as uh, every person coming to a horses and wanting to learn to ride, I guess. It has started with a classical dressage. But fortunately, I had not so much time to harm the horses as uh, very soon I realized uh, this daily fight every rider has to fight with a horse and uh, started to teach um, dressage and article elements um, in Halta and uh, discovered new uh, ways to approach the horse to achieve some work uh, based on free will very soon. <laughs>